Hey YouTube, uh, today I will be talking about one of my favorite albums that is turning 10 years old. Holy crap, I feel old. Uh, if you couldn't tell already, that album is Meteora by Linkin Park. Hybrid Theory was one thing, but I discovered Meteora the day it came out, uh, which was March 25th, 2003. And uh, I've been with Meteora since then. I discovered Hybrid Theory a little over a year after its release. So, this one holds more meaning to me. On that day, I was 14, I was in 8th grade, and my mom was working at home at the time, so I gave her the money to go out and buy this special edition of the album that day, because I had school, so I could come home and I could experience it firsthand. And what an experience that was, to say the least. And I always go back to that first listen, whenever I listen to this album now, or any of the songs off of it. Uh, it's a little beaten up, but I've since got a couple more. Uh, at one point in the DVD, uh, whatever, Mike mentions that if you listen to the album, like he said three years later, you'd still hear that energy. And here it is now, ten years later. And whenever I listen to it, I still hear that same energy I've always heard. In support of this album, I saw the band twice. First time was in 2003, and then I saw them a second time a year later. It's funny because for the first show, it was on April Fool's Day in 2003 that my mom and dad told me that they bought tickets to see Linkin Park live. And obviously being April Fool's, I didn't believe them since the show was a week from then. But I guess the joke was on me because uh, the night before the show, the snowstorm blanketed the northeast and forced that show to be canceled, or postponed rather. Uh, they came through during Summer Sanitarium on a one-off day, and they played with Mudvayne, Cold, and Jurassic 5. And then of course I saw them here in 2004 with, uh, with Korn and Snoop Dogg. That was a good show. Speaking of, I don't, know if I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this on YouTube, but I'm a live bootleg collector. Uh, I've been collecting bootlegs ever since Linkin Park's first tour. I have like shows from nearly every tour they've done until now. And that Meteora era has always been one of my favorites just because of the energy they had, and the way they worked the songs into their set, and all the intros and outros and interludes. And their interaction with the fans was tremendous back then. Uh, one of the other things that immediately caught my attention with this album was the artwork and how it was used, like, not only through the lyrics, the booklet, but also how they presented it in their live show. I myself wouldn't mind seeing a future Linkin Park album with that much emphasis in the artwork and how they used it in their live show. I guess I should also point out that their album artwork from Meteora was the basis of my tattoo. And for more information on that, you can go to this link here. Speaking of their artwork, the graphics that they used on their website, the easier navigation, the newscasters in the LP community. Each music video on the site had its own player, which was like the YouTube for LP music videos before YouTube was even around. And speaking of, the Faint player also featured trading cards for each band member. I was never able to collect any of the physical copies, but the virtual ones in the player included exclusive behind-the-scenes video footage of each member. Uh, I believe those are still on YouTube somewhere. I have one more little story. Uh, hi. I have one more little story for you guys. Uh, this past summer, I was able to attend the band's sixth LPU summit down in Jersey, and uh, one of the things we did that day was they bust us over to the Hard Rock in Philly for a free lunch. What are you doing? <laughs> Don't mind him. Uh, the atmosphere there was great because we were surrounded by TVs that were playing Incubus and uh, Linkin Park live videos and other music videos too. One of the videos they played was Faint and by the time they came on uh, they turned the volume up so loud that they made sure everybody in the place could hear it. That stands out as a highlight for me because just being in that surrounding with the people that been fans of them for as long as I have and just hearing the energy from the crowd just took me back to that one time, my first listen. Currently today I am a weekend cleaner up where I went to middle school. Uh, 
as I walk around those halls on a weekly basis, so I, it always takes me back to that time in my Lincoln Park life, so to speak, where Meteor always meant so much to me and still means to me, still means to me to this day. Uh, at one point in the last album, there's a song called Roads Untraveled, where Mike and Chester, they sing, May your love never end, and if you need a friend, there's a seat here alongside me. But for me, that seat has always been occupied by Meteora. And back then, no matter what kind of day I was having at school, whether it be good, bad, or ugly, I knew I could always come home and just pop in Meteora, and it showed me that, you know, everything would be okay. It reassured me that, you know, things would get better. And over time, they did.